Hello and welcome to another edition of New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Marcus Johnson with New Blue. Recently, Matt Davis of LifeStage Films in Wilmington, North Carolina published a fun Trash the Dress video featuring local model Jen Treese. We noticed a few spots where just a few minutes with Video Essentials 4 could make this great video even better. Jen is quite beautiful, but as is the case with all of us, high definition can sometimes be a little more detail and definition than we want it to be, especially in those close-ups of our skin. Today I'm going to show you how to use Skin Touch Up to enhance your close-ups and make your subjects look as beautiful as they feel. When you first open Skin Touch Up, you'll notice that there are just three main controls that we'll be working with. Color, sensitivity, and smoothing. First, we'll start by adjusting the color control. We'll want to set this to Jen's skin tone, so using the eyedropper tool is the easiest way to do this. Try to pick an area that's about midway between the brightest and darkest parts of her face. Next, we're going to use the sensitivity control to set the area of the picture that will be affected. And turning on the show mask option will make this a lot easier. Show Mask lets us see what parts of the picture have been selected, and you'll notice that with sensitivity set to zero, the screen is entirely black. As we turn up the sensitivity control, you'll start to see Jen's face become visible. And the trick here is to select as much of her face as possible without selecting the other parts of the picture. I think that's just about right. Now we'll turn off the Show Mask option, and you'll notice that the video still looks like it did when we started. We need to turn up the smoothing control to make skin touch up work. If I set smoothing all the way to 100, it will give Jen's face a painted appearance, and depending on the project, this might be exactly what you want. I want to keep some of her skin's natural texture to give it a more realistic appearance, so I'm going to set smoothing to about 55. Now here's how the shot looked before, and here it is with Skin Touch Up applied. I think we've really enhanced her natural beauty in this shot. Once you've made the adjustments to Skin Touch Up on one shot, it's usually just a matter of copying the same settings to the other shots that you want to use it on. And there you have it. With Skin Touch Up and Video Essentials 4, you really will say, I'm ready for my close up. Well, maybe it's better I didn't go into comedy. For more information about Skin Touch Up and the other Video Essentials 4 plugins, or to see more tips and techniques tutorials, just go to www.newbluefx.com. This is Marcus Johnson saying thanks for watching and learning about New Blue FX. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.